Dozens of people are dead following a two-train collision north of Athens, Greece. Officials say at one point more than 150 firefighters and 40 ambulances responded. The severity of the collision has made it difficult for first responders to free people trapped. At least 32 people are confirmed dead. More than 80 were hurt. The House Select Committee on China says it is focused on the potential dangers China can bring upon the U.S. Lawmakers are concerned with China's relationship with Russia. U.S. officials have given China fair warning, saying there will be consequences if it aids Russia's invasion of Ukraine. China says the balloon that was shot down recently was a research airship that lost its course. Three police officers were hospitalized in Kansas City, Missouri after they were shot while executing a search warrant Tuesday night. Right now, no one is in custody, and it's not clear if there was more than one shooter. The three officers are said to have non-life-threatening injuries. The fate of President Biden's plan to wipe out $400 billion of student loan debt now rests with the Supreme Court. The Biden administration has argued it has the power to forgive student loans to protect Americans from financial harm. According to the White House, 26 million people already applied for relief and 16 million were approved before the two legal challenges halted the program. In California, a group of 600 middle school students stranded in the San Bernardino Mountains over the weekend are now home. It comes after one of the most powerful storms to ever hit the area. Multiple feet of snow covered mountain roads, trapping the students and staff for days. They were escorted by California Highway Patrol officials and have safely returned. The United States Postal Service announced it was awarded new contracts to Ford to buy more than 9,200 commercial electric vehicles. The Postal Service says the left-hand drive vehicles will fill an urgent need and will be the first stage of an initiative to eventually replace all of its gas-powered vehicles with electric. Home prices in the U.S. continue to fall. The latest U.S. National Home Price Index showed housing prices fell in December for the sixth month in a row. The National Composite Index declined by 0.8% with all of the cities in the 20-city index reporting declines. Target's decision to cut prices is paying off. Holiday quarter sales rose nearly 1%. Target says consumers spent more money on food, beauty, and household essentials. As for the rest of 2023, the retailer expects sales to range from a low single decline to a low single digit increase. The DNA of four former and late presidents will be sent into space. Celestic Space Burial Company will send the remains of George Washington, Dwight Eisenhower, John F. Kennedy, and Ronald Reagan on its Enterprise flight. DNA samples from celebrities will also be a part of the mission. And that's today's Nine at Nine. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.